there. So I'm really pleased that we've been able to get out there and meet the people. As mayor, you see what is really good about the will. And I'd say we will return back to the fray as a normal councillor, better, a better person, and I've learned so much about what's great about the will, the people. Amazing people, sorry, ordinary people do an amazing thing, things on a daily basis. They truly are a treasure. And some of the facilities that they have created through the policy sector and, and, and the like is truly, truly amazing. We should all be quite proud of what we, we've achieved together. So, there's a great thing about being there. I learned very new I always got first the food, never done that in my life. You get a car, takes you to and from places, which is great. But actually, the highlight of the year is meeting those people on an individual basis, getting to know about their organisations uh, and enjoying time with them. And finally, it's the first time in my life that I've been genuinely liked as a politician. <laughs> <laughs> the Mayor is well regarded by all, and I hope we have enhanced that feeling in our year at the helm. Done our best anyway. There have been many, many highlights. Uh, golf, what a fantastic showcase for the weather, and hopefully it will be turned sooner than we expect. Well, 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 commemorations uh, here and across Merseyside. In particular, this very building was commemorated with its role in the First World War the Hospital, and we commemorated the Bread and Head Bantams. So it was really a moving, many moving occasions. But well, I think the opportunity was there to teach young people the horrors of war and, and pray to God that none of our young people have to go through such a conflict in their lives. Particularly, I've done a lot of work with the NCS, the National Citizen Service, uh, and over a, a certificate that young people do between the ages of 14 and 16. Absolutely phenomenal amount of work. And our CYPD, our Children and Young People's Department, the work here doing the Pilgrim Street. Uh, is absolutely fantastic and should be very proud of our young people. We've had two royal visits here yeah, in Wessex and here at Royal Highness Princess of Wales, a bit of a name drop on me. Um, working with the Scouts and the Brownies, particularly the Scouts, uh, as a former Boy Scout, it was great to put something back into the Scouts. They were the organisation to give me my first holiday when I was uh, a young poor lad, so I'm always grateful. So, all good things have to come to an end, right? Are we jealous of Les and Paul here this year ahead of them? Well, next week they're going to Buckingham Palace and they're going to have dinner on the Queen Mary II. Are we jealous? The hell we are. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm really pleased that our successes uh, and we will be glad of the rest. I'm also very pleased that we will hopefully be announcing uh, Pat and Elaine as Deputy Mayor and I wish them well in the new year. I love this town hall and so do our citizens. It's a delight to take people around it. And it was Dave Mitchell, the former mayor, who passed on the knowledge about, you see the faces each side of the town hall as you look around? And he reminded me about what they were about. One face looking that way is looking to the future. The other is looking back to our heritage with respect and always respecting our heritage. And that was uh, what it taught me. So, I don't think we should ever be afraid to try new things. It's in our blood, it's in our spirit, and we should try new things. As mayor, though, we do learn new things every single day. People come in with information, or pass you information, you are actually a sponge for, for other people's knowledge. So, only recently I heard the tale that we were mentioned in the Arthurian tale, so go away and the green light, and you may remember that. We're described, the widow's described, a mysterious forest in place inhabited by a man and beast that God could not love. <laughs> it's good to see the little PR team is still in action in the 40s. <laughs> so, something else, I think most mayors try to pass something on or do something in their year that will be remembered. Uh, what I managed to do, it took a year, we only got put in last week, but what I managed to do is get the old metal chain small five brothers that previously existed. They've sat in a vault since 1974, so when we do get a chance to go to Mayor's Park, they are now in a nice case on the wall, remembering our history, looking back to the past, but also trying to look forward to the future. Uh, I'd just like to thank Colin Simpson and his team at the Williamson to try to put that together for me. So, the new mayor will put his own stamp on things. 
You'll need some one liners or you'll need some jokes just to get them through to fill in when things are going dull during speeches. Most of my script relates to my background from the north end of Birkenhead. So much so, I've used the jokes so many on so often, I'm now getting requests to tell certain jokes. And someone told me, can you tell the river speech guy tonight? So I'm going to give it a go. The, this story about the river speech. Guy coming home, anyone know the river speech in the north end of Birkenhead? Yeah. Guy's coming home from the pub. He's a, a little bit tiddly, he finds a dead body of all things in, in the street. So in the old days when we had phone boxes, he goes to the phone box and he rings up. Yes sir, what's the incident? He said, I found a dead body. Give me your name sir. Yes sir, I do. Now we need to know exactly where the dead body is. Where is it sir? He says, I found a dead body in Buckaloo Street. So he says, well sir, I think you're going to have to spell that for us. Can you spell Buckaloo Street? Phone goes dead. Two minutes later, a guy comes back, puffing and panting. It's all right, Pa. I've dragged the body into Avon Street and we're just going to So, you can back that joke. So, right. One young, one young man on one of the visits around the town hall asked me, have you made any phone calls? And that was two weeks ago. And I said, no, I haven't really made any particular massive ones until election night. Um, <laughs> Until election night, I was giving the great on it something again, as a young kid, I was interested in politics, I was giving the honour of reading out the results. So I read out the lots of results perfectly, that went perfectly well. So I came to Frank Fields, uh, results in Berwick Head. So I ended up at the end, and everything was going to the last line, and I say, Frank Field has been duly erected. <laughs> He was the standout candidate in the <laughs> So finally, finally, I just want to say a massive thank you for allowing me, scruffy, snotty nose kid from a council house in the North End, Birkenhead, to have what I believe is the greatest office on the middle of that mayor. And for my fiance, it was slightly more refined than she came from Norman Street. <laughs> so we've been first citizens, we've enjoyed every minute of it. It has been a truly amazing. <laughs> Truly humbling here. This is the greatest put up on earth, believe, believe you me, it is. And it's great to represent it. And I'm, I'm really thankful of being given the opportunity. Thank you very much for being here.
which he left at the age of 16, started an apprenticeship at Albany hairdressing in uh, Old Wall Street, Liverpool, where he trained for five years. He left um, this business to start his own and opened his first shop, Mr. Snips, to Reeds Lane Mall, and led his own and run his own businesses uh, to this present day. Les met and married Paula, and 26 years later, she's still clean up with her. At least that's what uh, Les tells me anyway. And Paula, as we know, works for World Council and does a tremendous job in the children and young people's department. And I know she will put the same effort into being a fantastic mayoress as she puts into her work for the authority. Sadly, Mr. Mayor has lost his dad at the age of 17 to a heart attack and he's had to deal with life's ups and downs without a father figure. But Les did pass on, Les his dad did pass on his love of fishing. And I understand when they went, one day when they were both went fishing in the Mersey, uh, whilst Les was away from his rod, his dad put a mackerel on the line and cast it back in. When Les came back, his dad said, I think you've got a fish. Uh, Les, of course, was ecstatic until his dad pointed out that the fish was dead and they don't have any mackerels in the river Mersey. But I, but I understand the detail is uh, Les still enjoys and continues to fish to this day. Fishing is less than only hobby, however, um, and uh, Paul, Paul tells me he's a talented musician and at one time played in a band called Legs Akimbo. He's also a bit of a TV actor, appearing on Coronation Street and a few other cameo roles, and treading the boards in a theatre at the Liverpool Empire, the Pavilion Theatre in Rill, and many times on the floor of the Pavilion in Dubai. More surprisingly, scuba diving is a little less hobby, and having been interested in aircraft and flying since he was a little boy, Les has an American and UK pilot's license, but up to recently owning his own plane and flying on a regular basis. I know Les is rightfully proud of his record as a councillor over the last 17 years. He genuinely enjoys life at all, helping his residents and gets on well with all his council colleagues, irrespective of the party, because he respects each and every one of us, which I'm sure will help and has helped in the running of council meetings. The three charities Les has chosen for raising during this mayoral year are very close to his heart. Firstly, Clatterbridge League of Friends. Les was a member of the Rotary Club in Heswell, and one of his connections was with the Limb Centre of Clatterbridge, where he would go and create boxes of equipment that would be sent to third world countries. I understand Les visited this charity as one of his first duties as deputy mayor and was reminded of how much good work they do. Northwest Ambulance, Air Ambulance Service, which I understand is moving to policy very soon, uh, because of, and also because of interest in flying, he's been contributing to the charity many years and wanted to extend that support during his mayoral year. And the Alzheimer's Society for all branch. That's his family, uh, as few of us know, has been touched by Alzheimer's. And again, during his year as deputy, he saw firsthand the amazing contribution of a small group of three people we're all has made. So I'm sure you'll agree, colleagues and, uh, and guests, that these are three excellent charities and will benefit greatly from the mayor's support. In closing, I would just like to say to Les and Paula what I've heard and passed on to several past mayors and mayoresses. Make sure you enjoy the year as our first citizen. It passes very quickly. And again, I'm sure that as you will be an outstanding man of honor. I said, Thank you, Councillor B. Is there a second of the proposition? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It has been a great pleasure to second the proposition that Councillor Mayor Rowlands become our Mayor, and in recognition of his service to the borough, I would recommend Councillor confer this honour upon him. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Gilchrist. Councillor Gilchrist, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 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 Thank you, M
Okay. Are there any other nominations? In the absence of any other nominations, I declare that Councillor Les Rollins is hereby elected Mayor of the Metropolitan Borough of Wigan. Congratulations. Okay, Council will stand adjourned until uh, Council Rollins returns road.